2023 new movies, new content. What's up, everyone? This is Joshua, Future Filmmaker Reviews with Joshua. Very enthusiastic to talk about this one. We're going to be talking about Megan. This is the newest release. I got a chance to check this out earlier. This is going to be completely in voiceover. And if you're wondering why my voice is so low, it's because I'm in the area. This is different. This is directed by Gerald Johnston and stars Allison Williams and Megan McGraw. If you guys are new to the channel, all my social media links are in the description box down below. To my Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, my Hive, of course, my Letterbox, all the way up to my Serialize. If you want to follow me on all my social media links, subscribe and hit the bell for more epitastic content. Be sure to like the video, comment below, and share this video so you won't miss more epitastic content. My Amazon wish list is also in the description box down there as well. And stick around because there will be a free little at video telling you how to get your own personal movie palette and we're starting off 2023 movie season just right and we're gonna talk about megan so so megan follows a bio creator by the name of Gemma, who is forced to be the caretaker of her eight-year-old niece after a tragic accident involves with the niece's parents once she creates this our official intelligence doll named Megan to protect her from emotional and physical harm. The doll starts having a mind of his own, things go crazy, and we have basically a more campier version of the 2019 Child's Play remake. So going into Megan, I was a little curious to see how this was going to turn out, but when I took a look at that first trailer, I was pretty much like everyone else on social media. What are you doing? This is ridiculous. This is probably the worst things ever but knowing that jason blum and james wan was going to be producing i had some hope in hoping that this would be a interesting film and this would be at least a campy entertaining film and this movie has been trending since everyone's been heard about it from the dance to the everything so what did i like about megan I will say the first big pro is I like how self-aware this movie is. This movie knows that it's campy, it knows that it's dumb, it knows that it is fun not to take its lead. And that's the thing I appreciate about the movie. It's self-aware and it's campy, but it's doing it for all the right reasons. And I do appreciate the self-aware campiness nature to it. And they do nail the comedy side when it comes to Megan, of course. Also, not to mention, I will say I, the design of the AI doll is really well done here. It's a mix of CGI, practical, but it's also a good mix of an actual person playing Megan. You have two different girls doing the physical movements but also one girl to do the voice so the way they're able to pull that off as well as with CGI and actual physical movements it takes a lot for the small budget that they had because this could have easily gone a different scenario and went horribly wrong but I think the way the filmmakers and with the small budget that is required was allowed them to do it they were able to get a lot out of the actual performance and a lot of the character of Megan and also the character of Megan herself is just a standout in this she has a lot of fun with this she knows that AI doll she is unhinged at points she's killing people she is sassing people she she's basically the female version of Chucky and a mix of Annabelle but except in her own show and she steals a lot of the scenes that she's in and kudos to the two actresses and the voice actress that they have to do so they did really did good also the cinematography and the technical aspects aside this is a very well shot film a very well lit movie is very tightly edited well paced and I appreciate the fact that this is only an hour and 42 minutes because if this was two hours and five minutes or something this would easily be kind of a drag. It, do, it shows that you don't always have to be two hours or three hours so it's very short it's straight to the point and I appreciate about it. 
and I think the performances of Allison Williams and Violet McGraw, they both do a very good job in their performances. You understand Gemma's motivation. She's not much of a caretaker. She isn't much of a parent, so she's trying to do the best she can with parenting her niece and i thought she does a very good job as the ai creator of megan and the niece trying to be a caretaker and i also really admire the fact that allison williams did is that could produce this allison williams is an underrated actress she looks just like amanda pete and she does a very good job i liked her since get out and a few other things she's very good violet mcgraw Aside from some character decisions with her acting the way she does, which I definitely understand when it comes to grief and pain, I will say she does do a good job in her performance. And when you see her and Megan bond with each other, that is the more fun parts of the movie. And I was just sitting here laughing at some of the stupidity and some of the crazy stuff that Megan's doing. Of course, there are some good kills. There's one little issue when I do have when it comes to the killing in this movie, but I will save that for the mix aspect. And this is might be just me, but I also can appreciate the fact that this is kind of like universal. Basically saying, go screw you MGM before remaking Child's Play. Because there's this whole story with them. You can't tell me that's not what it is. Because it definitely does feel like it. There's a whole story with the creators of Child's Play series and being unhappy with MGM and such. And I can appreciate the themes on artificial intelligence. How we are so dependent on technology. And how technology can be its own worst enemy especially things so i definitely appreciate that message going into the mix aspects i'm more so mixed on the kills here now you do get some good kills here but this was i do wish we were a, a little bit more the violent side of megan there so that's a little bit of a mix issue with me maybe when it comes to the physical underrated cuts we'll probably see I can also say that I do kind of wish this does lean more on the horror side of things a little bit. Now, it's fun that it embraces some horror and it embraces what it is, but it would be nice to have things go a little bit more darker. So, that in itself is a little bit of a mixed thing here. And again, with that... I gotta go into the criticisms here and my main criticism of course this movie was clearly intended to be a, P a rated R now I understand the reason why they chose to make this a PG-13 so more people can go see it and such but I just feel like with some of the killings that she's doing in the movie and you do get to see the kills I do kind of feel like this should have maintained its rated R if you would benefit from a rated R it would have been much better now maybe they will pull a live free or die hard and give us the unrated cut with more blood when it comes out on blu-ray and physical media I, i'd be curious or when it hits streaming services on peacock because i guarantee you this would be a big hit but i just felt like ai doll who's going around killing people and you don't really get to see some carnage that is a little disappointing but i understand what you're trying to do i respect that you were trying to go that route also, I can say there are some character decisions when it comes to the niece here, which I understand, again, the pressing, of course, she is dealing with the loss of her parents or such, and she doesn't have a way to re emotionally react, so you're using this doll, but there are just some moments where she's kind of being disrespectful, disobedient, and kind of just being a little bit out of control especially to her niece i mean to her aunt caretaker so i do feel that could be a little bit frustrating also i really hated the bully in this movie the bully who was bullying our main 
character of the little girl he could not be any more obnoxious as some of the other bullies you see in these high school movies or these horror movies it definitely feels like he's just your cliche bully because he just goes well so over the top and so obnoxious at points where it feels very uh, abrupt and very annoying and when Megan does eventually get to the bully, I could not be any more satisfied when he got killed off. It really did put a smile on my face there. Also, I will just clearly say this now. There are some over-the-top moments that most people are not going to like. Because this is a movie that is going for that over-the-top crazy to know who you are going into it. And for most people, it will become a little bit annoying and it will get a little ridiculous. And also, I kind of feel like the pacing could have been just 10 minutes longer. But I'm glad they stretched it out. Now here's a word from our sponsor. Whoever wants your own movie palette of a movie of your choice, well stick around because I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about MoviePalette.com. So MoviePalette is an official website where you go online and you're able to get any color palette of a movie of your choice. The movies ranges from Harry Potter to Titanic to something like The Lord of the Rings, The Wizard of Oz, The Matrix, Into the Dragon, Avatar, you name it, those movies are all on moviepalette.com. If you don't see a movie of yours that you, you love that's on there, you can definitely put in the request section and they will have that request and they will do it for you. This is a very awesome idea of movie palettes where they take a series of scenes and they make it into one big giant canvas making it for the entire color scheme of that said movie it's really awesome i was very fortunate to get one of these mine is of course harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban and it is amazing if you guys want one of these movie palettes, definitely go to moviepalette.com and order one. And also be sure to use my discount, Future15. That's F-U-T-U-R-E-1-5. Anyone who uses my discount code, I will get 20% off for every commission that everyone uses. Use that discount if you want one. Pick out one of your choice. And with that being said, thank you, Movie Palette, for allowing me to talk about this in this video. So overall, is Megan a movie you should go see in theaters? This is hard for me to say because on one end, I think all you people who are going to already go and buy your tickets to go see this, to see Megan and the campiness. But there are a certain going to be a, there is going to be a certain amount of people who is going to look at this, judging by the trailer, judging by the premise, judging by the poster, and they're really going to go into this hating it because it's not some deep, serious horror movie. But this movie, for what it is, I do think you can enjoy it. I do like the performances. I like the direction. Cinematography is good. I do appreciate the self-awareness and the campiness. And the fact that Megan is the most valuable player here, she is going around having fun, killing, and and if they do the by the way this movie ends i would like to see a sequel to it so if you are someone who wants to see some craziness definitely go and check it out but it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea so i do have to make that perfectly clear so in the end i will give this my rating of a highly recommended this is a crazy over the top but campy entertaining film that i think if you are a fan of ai and robot movies definitely check it out it was fun and i do want to see more of it so i would give this a highly recommendation just a little frustrated with the fact that some of the violence is a little neutered down but i did quite enjoy myself with this and I'll be willing to see more of Megan. Let the Megan train begin. Definitely give it a shot. Well, that's going to do it for the video that you just watched. I will have my channel here. So you would like to see anything here. Click the channel icon. Subscribe for more. I will also leave a video and maybe a playlist here. So in case you want to see what I'm about. As always, stay at Potassinus. Join the Potassinus. And you guys, keep it cool.